Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio. My name is Timothy McSwain and we are going to start today with uh, <laughs> we're going to start today with automating these systems a little bit better. I'm going to start now. I remember last time we, we started up our operation and this time we are going to actually start to tie everything together. So these things I just placed down I made off camera they're called burner inserters. Inserters usually use electricity these, however, the burner inserters use uh, coal. So that's by <laughs> that's why they're called burners. Anyway, so what I'm going to do with these things is I'm going to I'm going to go into these things and I'm going to go. Let's put one, two. Uh, I want to put make the number up. Just make, uh, I have a lot of coal. Let's make the number up to ten. Uh, these things will be self-sufficient once we get going here. But for now, they're just we're gonna need to fuel them up on our on our own here, because the things are going to be picking up coal and putting them into these machines, and because of that, uh, they can pick up coal to fuel themselves as well, which is really cool. I'm glad the game lets them do that. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and work on these transport belts, and I'm gonna start by on here. I'm gonna work backwards. Can't put one there because there's a light post in the way. Uh, so I'll move that. Actually, I <laughs> I'm derping now for some reason. Okay, as if I'm not always derpy, which is not true. But anyway, that, that is not important. So what I'm gonna do now is now we've had these for long enough. I'm going to delete these coal machines and pick up all the coal that it might have left on the ground because we only need one right now. Well, I mean, we, we need more, but for right now, this will be enough. Okay, I can put one there, and we'll put one there. Okay, so now these things need coal, obviously, so I'm going to put coal in there, and I'm going to put coal in here. These things are going to run out eventually, but for right now, they're fine. As you can see now, these, these belts here are transferring the coal up to the inserters up above. Now I also um hello. You're supposed to pick those up. Oh they have enough coal and the system doesn't need any more right now. So that's why they're not doing anything. That makes sense. Okay. So Now these machines, instead of all working on each other, they're going to eventually fizzle out again. So it's going to be important to uh, keep restocking them. But since we're not really using any electricity right now, that's why uh, these aren't taking anything. Because uh, our consumption is at zero. So that means our production is also at zero. You can see we've been working. These have cons This has consumed only 0.9 watts anyway. And this is, so this has uh, produced the same amount in return. So for now, this belt is eventually just going to fill up. And the, bot, the one side is going to fill up better, more than, faster than the rest because it's got two of those things there, but that's fine. So, um, I could have done that better, but yeah, we'll leave it for now. So now what we need to do is we need to automate the production of these science pack ones, right? So we need copper and iron gear wheels. In order to automate this so I'm gonna need to go pick up the copper that we have from the other place just get one started at least go over here yeah it's over here okay I almost ran out I got here just in time okay a bunch of those copper plates there and what I'm gonna start on over here is we're gonna go to the iron. I don't need to be zoomed in that much. <laughs> We're going to go over here and I'm going to replace this system. Okay, so I gathered all the materials out of there. We're going to go down here since it's closer to the other stuff we're working. Those trees freak me out because I think it's those aliens. But um, they're going to become interested in us the more we pollute the area. So for right now we're fine. But eventually they're going to 
It's just, do we have any red spots on the map yet? I thought these purple spots were them, but it might just be the, yeah, it's just the oil. So, there are no interested alien parties nearby. The nests will start building eventually, though. So, for right now, I am going to put the place down. Let's do... Let's just, oh, come on. Let's just do it like this, even though it's going to be missing out on a little bit, because I want them to be even. So, place down another one there, another one there, and I'm actually going to want to make four more of those. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and place... See, the belt moves you too, which is kind of cool. So now we do that, we can move it down here. Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> the difference is coal is not the same as the iron. So you have to, I mean, obviously it's not, but the, the way you handle it is not the same. So these systems here are going to pick up iron. So we need to go like that. Actually, this works out perfectly. This one, this one will just be shifted over because it's not even. So 50. 50. Oh, there's no belt here yet. We need that. Fifty. We're gonna run out here before I have enough. So I'm gonna go get more coal. Since the system is not even running yet, we're gonna start. I'm pressing F on the keyboard and holding it down, and I'm picking up all this coal. You can see we've got iron now filling up our belts. But that iron itself is not going to do us very much good now, is it? Because we um, we need refined iron to do anything. We don't have refined iron right now. I mean, we can make it easily with, by cooking it up, but we're not cooking it up. So that's why this line here... Can I, do I have enough to fill these up yet? I almost have enough to fill the last one. I want to make them all full just so they're even, but um, it's not really all that important, but... Do I have a full stack yet? Nope. I don't really want to be messing with <laughs> the coal production too much, but right now, like I said, we're not really using much of it. Eventually, we will go crazy with how much we're using, but... So these ones here are going to shut down because they've already made enough iron, so we need to go ahead and work this out so that it'll keep working. Um, so we make a furnace. We can put that furnace here, but we're going to put it down one, like that. And then I'm going to make an inserter. Now this inserter, you notice we already bypassed the burner inserters. This one here needs electricity, since it's not a burner one. So we could use coal, but so many things here are using coal. I like to break that dependence on coal as quickly as possible. So let's put one power line there. It's not going to be enough to reach anywhere, but let's... Um, Start making furnaces, furni. And churters. Okay, like that, and then we can go to, you can see where the power is. We have to overlap it like that, which is a bit unfortunate, but these power cables just don't make that much. So, and you see, this is using wood, and there's not an un there's uh, not limit unlimited wood on the map. So, eventually, we're going to want to to uh, move away from those. Okay, so we have that now. Now we need to connect this, and oh look, we can do it in one one foul swoop here. So now these the inserters have power; they're going to start moving the iron into these uh, furnaces. Of course, they don't have any fuel, so we're going to need to go pick that up. So now that those things are running, we are going to be using uh, considerably more power, and it's not all that much. But you, uh, it's going to be a lot more later. 
So you can see once these are done cooking, they're just going to start, uh, they're just going to hold on to the iron. And we don't actually want them to do that. We want to make more uh, inserters there. Right, and then uh, I'm going to actually have to adjust some stuff here. I didn't think about that. I should have, but these power cables can cover everything. And that's what we need them to do. So I'm gonna—they're gonna stop working for a second as I, un as I deconnect these. Deconnect. Actually, no, these won't work. Dang it. Okay, which which means we're going to need. Let me just do this so we have more space here. You can see we can power all these at once here, even with gaps in the field there. Um, so now we have that, these things are going to start producing, and you see these things here are just holding these, actually I'm going to need to move that after there after all, yeah, I'm going to just need that, <laughs> I know I said I was trying to save up space and not, not do that, but we're going to need to, yeah, well that sucks, whatever. So, but now we can move this too and uh, try to make this system a little bit more efficient which I believe we can at this point let me see this will connect that to the system we still need this one though so it's not all that efficient but whatever so you see now they're holding these things and we can go down here and place this and it's going to place it on the belt so now we are producing uh, a considerable amount of iron here. Now, what else I'm going to do here is I need a, we don't have a splitter yet, do we? No, we don't, because we need logistics. So for right now, we just have these iron plates going down the line like that. Um, now, on the other side, we're going to need to do the same with copper. And actually, since we don't even have logistics yet, <laughs> and we're not going to, there's just a lot to the system that would have to be modified anyway. So let's go through here and start making as many of these as possible. Right, and we're, like I'm saying, we're we're just doing this um, on our own for now. But we will have the system completely running on its own eventually. Um, let's see. I want to take out all that. We can restock that. Okay. Go back up here put those packs in there like that and then the, it'll start working while we're doing this um, we need to do a similar system for the copper but like I said it's all, um, for right now it might be just better just to feed these in by hand because they um, what am I trying to say they um, the system is going to need to come a little bit longer before we can actually make use of it the way I want to make use of it so we're going to go ahead and dismantle that system that we had running there Place that there. I'm going to make, yeah, four, why not? Of course, we have those other things in the, light, the road. So before that, we're just going to have to do this. And we don't even have enough of those. Wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so while it's still working on those, we don't have any supplies. We need iron gear wheels. I, I made basically everything I could with, that, with the current iron we had. that but just gather it all up okay so there should now be well as soon as that one's done there we go there is now enough in there to finish up that research eventually okay so now if we go back over here as soon as we finish that I'm gonna work on optics for sure because um, I want you guys to be able to see what's going on here Actually, you know what? This is going to be a little bit inefficient. But I just want to cover this area equally. 
Do I really not have enough iron plates? Wow, okay. Let's just get this running while we're going off doing our own little thing. Guys, I'm just gonna have less, it's fine. Like go over your OCD, Tim. Run back over here, grab more iron plates. Like I said, they're really not producing fast enough at this point already, but we're fine. You can see we already have something that we can do next that'll be a lot more efficient, but for right now, let's just do this. So, place this one right here, and I'm all the way out of uh, coal. All right, so we run back over here, gather up as much of this as I can again. Gather as much of this again as I can. And eventually we'll have all kinds of crazy stuff going on that will take care of that for us. This game is really entirely focused on automation, so by the time we get to that point, we're going to be a lot better off. So, Now that I have this, I forget what I'm what I was wanting to do. Oh yeah, I wanted to refill this. Okay, so after we get to this point here, we're gonna want to start doing our same little furnace operation here, which means we're also gonna need more inserters. Come on. It would be nice to have some inserters on the bar, and that's eventually going to be the plan. Uh, just for right now, we don't have any on the bar. And obviously we're also going to need power, which is where this comes in. Seems like because of the way these things work, I'm going to want to double this up. Of course, this is all going to change. Oops. What the heck was that? Okay. I thought we were supposed to, oh, just click. Okay, that's right. It's going to do it automatically for us. Okay, so now we have this system running. It's not efficient, but I'll work on that later, like I said. Just getting started for now. I mean, there's no power here. Are you kidding me? Fine, I'll just do this. Logistics is done. Let's work on optics so you can see. Those are just lights. Um, so now this thing's finally running. Now we can put another inserter on the back. And this inserter is going to pull out the copper. And it's going to put it on a conveyor belt. And why am I... I don't, why did I make this so long? It doesn't need to be that long. This is the one that needs to be long because it's going to go all the way to the base. Oh, come on. And it's going to run into the coal, so we'll have to divert it, but that's not a big deal. As for power, we're going to do the same thing here. Overlap by one, which is not efficient, but whatever. We'll do what we have to for now. I know that there's a break in the line there. I see it. Okay. Is that a stump? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's just take this one. Because I don't want to make any more right now. Eventually this is, like I said, I, I need to stop saying eventually because obviously everything's going to be better eventually. If not, that would be, this would be a pretty main game. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So now we have the copper going. Let's make... Can we make more furnaces? No, because we don't have enough stone. I get, finally ran out of stone. Okay, so we can go back up to the stone. I'm sure it stopped running by now. Probably ran out of coal. Where is it? It's up here. That's right. Why am I zoomed in so much in again? Okay. 
Yeah, out of coal, and I didn't bring any coal with me, of course. We have enough stone now that we can make some more of these. So let's go over here. Optics is part way down. I must have had extra science packs that I didn't wasn't aware of. Let's zoom in a tiny bit, I guess. I want five of those, not six. So we're fine for now, I guess. Oops, this way. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Because um, I, I should have set them a little bit differently, but I didn't. So let's go back here. So if we just hold shift there. Oh, okay. Let's just... There. Okay. System's powered again. It's going to start producing copper again. Um, need more coal. <laughs> Gosh dang it. A lot of this. I forgot how annoying this first part of the game is. It'll get better, I promise. So keep, keep with me. Need more iron. Ugh. And it would be nice to put an insert at the end of this um, grabbing the iron because for right now it's just going to be a waste. It's not actually, it's, it's not making very much of it. Okay, so I'm going to take this conveyor. I'm actually making more copper right now than I'm making anything else, which is not necessary. And now this is not going to be very efficient, turning it, having to turn it like that. But there's, some, there's a little trick we can do here, and that is using an underground belt. Will it be long enough is the question. Yep. Okay. You can only take them underground for a certain amount of time, so that's what that is all about. So now we have the plate, the copper plates coming over here. And remember for the packs number pack number one, we need copper plates and iron gear wheels. So we're going to need to turn the iron bars and the iron plates into iron gears. Um, hold on. <laughs> I know this is a little derpy. It'll get better, I promise. I don't like making promises like that, but it will get better, I tell you. Okay, and we're not, we're not even going to be using that copper for very long, so... I'm going to go ahead and end this episode pretty soon here, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't put this here. Yeah, I do. I forgot about that. Yeah, I do need to put that there. Uh, they can pick up. It seems like they can't pick up unless there's a block in front of them, but they can drop off without a block in front of them. That's, I didn't think that's how that worked. You can see it, they need one here to drop off. So I don't know what the deal is actually, because it should it seems like it shouldn't need that. But anyway, maybe they changed that, I don't know. So we have that going and I'm gonna want oh yeah, we we have the splitter now, that's good. So what we need is copper. Let's gather some coal on our right by. And we need more iron as well. And then we can make a splitter. Now what I'm gonna do with this splitter, I'm actually gonna put it right here right away. It looks like we're our copper I mean our iron supply is already starting to dry up. Splitter's gonna go here. like that. Now this is going to go like this and like this. And what that's going to do is see it's going to bring them onto both sides. And if you're confused how that works, you can see it's just taking it on the bottom here, but it's, it's hitting the first part of the rail and it's going on the top. And this one is bringing it down to the same spot. It brings it from the same spot on this one, which is the bottom, to the same spot on both of these on the bottom. But since the bottom here is hitting the top of the rail, it goes to the top row. That's the whole reason that works. And that doubles up the amount that fits on one rail. So that's one, one rail, one, you know, you get it, uh, one conveyor belt. So next episode we'll finish up optics, and I want to do this also for the, um, for the copper assembly over there, and we'll start moving on to more research as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again in my next episode.